it was a hurdle for me to kind of get over the the hump that this isn't how baseball has been done for the last hundred years. Every game, the Cal Bears defy almost a century of baseball. I hate missing signs more than I have to look traditional. Signs are not given to batters and runners the old-fashioned way. Instead, manager David Esker signals a sequenced code of numbers, which are then decoded by the players through a cheat sheet on their wristband. How do you interpret this thing? So, you know, Coach Float Hill flashed like a 202, you know, and you know, we pretty much know now this is zero box, one, two, three, four, five. So, you know, two one, we see we find the two one here, and then it's down. It's actually down if it's two one two, it's down three, because we have a zero. That's where it gets confusing sometimes, but so 2-1-2 two, two is right here, it's a steal. Does this make your workload easier as a ball player? In a way, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very simple and efficient way of, of you know, using signs and, and, and we can use more signs. It's harder to uh, put in some plays in the old fashioned way of giving signs than it is with this new method. All right, so by now, I know what you're thinking. What if one of Cal's opponents gets their hands on this wristband? The whole system is compromised, right? Not exactly. These signs are changed how often? Every game. Every game, every series, you know, so if we have 56 games, I use 56 different ones. We got a UCLA 3 right here, we got UCLA 2 right here. We go, we go all the way back probably to uh, Oregon too. You know, we can even change them. I think Esky has extra, so we can change them in-game if we have to, if we think that they got a hold of one. Um, so, I mean, it's virtually, you, I mean, you can't, you can't pick these signs. In Berkeley, Brody Brazil, Comcast Sportsnet.